Hello and welcome back. I uh, didn't realize this, but my hard drive filled all the way up. So uh, it stopped recording, and um, I'm outside Molly, in the alleyway. You out here? Looking for Molly. Guess I'm not going that way. Um, I talked to Ben, and he wanted to tell. Kenny that he uh, was the reason that Kaja and Duck were dead so I apologize for that I didn't forgot to look at how much space I had on my hard drive so we're just gonna go this way who the fuck was that Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Damn, it's jammed tight. <laughs> Better not get too close. Holy shit. Leave him! He's mine. What were you doing up there? You got it. One more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah. Huh. That'll work. Oh god. He's not dead, you stupid bitch. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. I can't reach it up there. Oh, sh God damn it. No power. God damn it. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Something you need? 
What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. the hose for the lift hydraulics. Oh, no shit. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. See anything? All I have is a walkie-talkie, really. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. <laughs> I don't know why. I did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. God damn it. Got that one off! It's off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Oh my god, that's okay, pretty heavy. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? Skyler. Never stop complaining. Come on. How the hell am I supposed to get over there? Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. I missed. Really? You, do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery. 
Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Bonnie! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? I'm going the right way, right? Little help! Little help here! They can break that glass. Damn well better. There's so many. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. That's fucking glass. It'll they'll break through that in five minutes. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Awesome. Good job, guys. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? I don't think that's very funny at all. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cool. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Oh, really? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? So that means I have to go and help with the medicine, or... Okay, or find Molly. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. So, where am I right now? Right here. So I just gotta go turn right. Okay. The door will be over here. Why are they taking so long? It's right... Shit to the workers out there. I'm 
think I'm gonna go this way. Wait, which way was it? It was this way. Shit. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Who do I shoot first? into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Of course. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. No, I can grab it. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak, 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. 
but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, she didn't... Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another take. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Oh, God damn it. No, no. No tape inside. Damn it. There, that one. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. That won't do any good. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, already cleaned out. Of course. So I have to go back to that stupid ass doctor. I'm sure the zombies didn't go get through that glass doorway. Oh god! Ha! <laughs> that was lucky. Well, hey there, zombie. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh god. Shit, time to go. Oh thank god. I don't know how you made it back, but I'm glad you did. found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. 
I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Seven, four... No. 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 I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Oh, thank God. I'm glad I didn't have to remember. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Wait, which one? Oh. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy can I or leave Crawford. Of course, that cancel would this? Damn it. be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. I guess we gotta Maybe warn this. Sorry, guys. I stayed up all last you night. Know what? I'll skip through it for this. you. Why are we? All right, so I figured out how to watch tape three. What Listen, the... as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? What the? Well, shit. 